welcome back to WA. Going west to defend a swathe of Liberal seats. We've got manual steam in here. The Prime Minister came armed with cash for patrol vessels. The helm is no place for the inexperienced. No. And ready for a battle on boats. When Labor abolished temporary protection visas in 2008, the armada of people smugglers' boats came to Australia. Zeroing in on yesterday's stumble that forced another mid-campaign correction. We don't support temporary protection visas. Labor have learned nothing when it comes to border protection. But scare campaigns go both ways. Medicare is not safe under Scott Morrison and Anne Rustin. Labor's using the change in health minister to stoke fears about the future of Medicare funding. She said yesterday there wouldn't be any cuts and I'm re repeat that today. Hi. In Queensland, where Labor holds just six of 30 lower house seats, Hi, Oscar. Anthony Albanese was reminding voters of the PM's response to the devastating floods in January. He slept through the whole thing. Receiving a different reception to the one he got at last night's Byron Bay Blues Fest. Polling conducted last week suggests the Labor leaders' stocks might have fallen. Anthony Albanese now trailing Scott Morrison 30 to 38 per cent on the question of preferred Prime Minister. Labor's primary vote also down four points to 34 per cent, while the coalition's up slightly to 35 per cent. It's a mountain that Labor seeks to climb. This will be ScoMo. Oh. <laughs> After a steady start, today Scott Morrison suffered his own campaign misstep, messing up the details of the doll. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Which we increased from 40 bucks uh, a week to 46 bucks a week. Love you, ScoMo. <laughs> Later clarifying, it's $46 a day. Oh, I misspoke. It was pretty straightforward. The Easter truce is officially over. Labor has turned noticeably more negative with Anthony Albanese attacking Scott Morrison's character and reviving Labor's Mediscare campaign. The Prime Minister is using Mr Albanese's campaign missteps to fan the fear of the unknown and convince voters to stick with the devil they know. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.